and gentlemen, <laughs> fuck boys and e girls. I was about to laugh. You should laugh. Welcome to America's favorite sound. Oh yeah, girl. <laughs> I have to drink this now. Fuck. Oh my god. I found the perfect. <laughs> I just found it. What? I just found the perfect. Um, how do you call it? Horoscope. Um, oh, no. For us, I thought what we were is... past this. No, leave it there. We don't touch I'm the sorry. Why are you I, fucking I, with the? I found it too far. But what? it's Lord of the Rings. It's Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. So going back three episodes ago. I'm sorry. No, I just fine. saw it and I was like, oh, it's so perfect. Lord okay. of the Rings star power? No. Star yes. Star magic. Star, star, magic. star power. Star power. I'm like in a little, my little pony. Oh, my God. I, I just pictured Aragorn holding up his sword like in Gundam where he summons like star magic literally into his Nick, sword. That's Nick, Nick, you since you're cancer, you're Frodo. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, guys, guys. Five episodes in a row. Three episode break. Another episode, I brought the joke back. Um, me life. No, I'm sorry. I just <laughs> saw it. It was like no, perfect fine. timing. Okay, who's, who's the cancer? You are pro- Frodo. 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 <laughs> you're Frodo. Okay, why am I Frodo? Because you're emotional and protector. You always ta- talk nice. And you are always like... ¿Cómo se dice? Se clava. He's like... You, you, you're like... You, obsessed? No, you, you fall in love like too easily. And you're like volu- voluptuous, <laughs> voluble, valuable, Val- valuable, no, no, voluptuous, ah, uh, something like that, Vali- gullible. Let me see. You're gullible. You're gullible. You're gullible. Oh, what she's is- Spanish. <gasps> That's why. Yes, you always trust everyone, which is true. You're even Gollum. That's what it says. <laughs> which even, is true. Even Gollum. You're super gullible, babe. Gullible. Okay, and Okay, you... hold on. Now, you said you fell in love too quick. <laughs> who said I love you first in our relationship? Yes, please tell me. Tell me who said You unconsciously that. fell in love first. Mm, yeah. I blatantly told her, leave me alone. Uh, yeah. And she was what? like, no, thank you. No, foods. that's a lie. I had to kick you out of my, 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 how do you call it? She can't come up with a good enough line in time, boys. <laughs> boys, you know it's true. I ain't Frodo. I'm Gollum. You're Frodo. I don't know. Okay, I'm Natalia Frodo. is Legolas. One more time. Legolas. Try it again. Legolas. Yeah, I'm gonna say in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's no difference. It sounds the same. Legolas. That's yeah, in Spanish. Yeah, that's all right. And in English is... Say it. Legolas. Um, it's the same, but with, like, some spice on it. Like, that's the only difference with some Spanish words. And I think Natalia's is lie. He's like, Natalia, okay. you're like a, like a mamacita because you look, like, really reserved. <laughs> you do. You, through no fault of your own, though, you're... You don't look like this because you try. You look like this because... This is the way I am. You got you got the genes that kept your face looking it's, 17 forever. It also said that she's a fashion icon. Which, <laughs> okay. No, that's not true. <laughs> that yeah. She's intuitive. Intuitive? Intuitive? <laughs> intuitive. Uh-huh. Intuitive. And she always sees like her the whole image of everything. Natalia, what do you see with, with your those elf eyes? eyes. <laughs> She's a lot of old dudes Can with seven kids on, no. Tinder, on Tinder. No, I have to read mine. Ah. I wanted to read yours. It seems no, sad. read your. No, let her read yours. I'm Bilbo. No, <laughs> I'm Bilbo. <laughs> I don't trust you. I'm Probably Bilbo. you're gonna like adapt it to yourself. Yeah, no, she's gonna be no, like, I'm will, Bilbo, no. I'm always right, I'm no. the star. Uh. The one that I will choose <laughs> will be Sauron. Sagittarius, <laughs> otherwise known as Bilbo. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Very versatile. Nope. And you need adventure. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> I couldn't even do the note. <laughs> Very loyal of ideas and a clear taste. I have a really clear taste, guys. She says what she's thinking <gasps> without... Filter? A filter, yeah. She can't snap. She's trying to snap. <laughs> like, oh, I got you. Hold on, Vicky. Okay, okay uh, Natalia. She says what she thinks without a filter. Oh, snap. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am mean, snapping. Like, oh, my God, this is so funny. Just some sandpaper noises. <laughs> Nick, you're going to enjoy this one. All right, all right. Re- <gasps> really, in reality, actually, she likes luxury. Everything that <gasps> shines. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> if she doesn't... Put attention, she can get carried away by the ring. 
Oh my god, this is spot on. Oh, you, I you need a ring. Gold digging thought. You freaking Bill. I'm Bill Moore, guys. I'm Bill Moore. I'm guys. so happy. <laughs> I like that sentence. I'm Bill Moore, guys. Okay, Nick. Hey, I don't know why I made you sound like um, Mario. Mickey, no. I'm Bill Moore, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what? That sounds like Mickey. Wait, what Not is... even good Mickey. It's hey, like horrible up. Mickey. Hey, I did this for the new commercial for this episode. Uh, this is not true, actually. I recorded this about a week before doing the commercial, so now my commercial has to involve Mickey. Okay, Nicholas. All right, yes. You remember that you told me at this moment that you were going to tell me a story about, I don't know, something? And then I was like, hold oh, thank- on. Yeah, okay. Hold on. This is a really good story for podcast time well that could mean anything now i mean not really yes it could do you remember what the thing was or are you just gonna say no i totally forgot then if we don't have a story okay so i've got yes oh my lord i I do have however i just told you i have some quick questions uh let's see uh these (laughs) these questions were actually sent in by listeners so that was really cool really Yes. Someone they, listens to us? Someone gives a fuck? All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you Question know. one. My uh, heart is happy. This one actually came in second, but I thought it was much funnier. Uh, or much more interesting. Uh, because, not on the podcast, but... Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. We did talk about this before a little bit. We touched on it. Um, what is worse? Something that is intentionally offensive, but not too bad. Like, the actual subject matter isn't that bad. Or... Something that has good intentions, but was done ignorantly, so it seems worse than it is. Does that make sense? No. The, the, the example that I can think of was something that was like, it was, it was clearly a joke. It was meant to be kind of offensive. But it was that really old MTV animation that I showed you, uh, Natalia, where it was some song about like, oh, we're all people of the world. Yeah. Even if you're Asian. And then it goes to like Asia. <laughs> and then it's just a bunch of like really yellow skinned cartoon characters and they all had rice paddy hats, and their song, their chorus of the song was ching chong ching chong ching ching chong ching chong ching. And you're just like, oh fuck! And then it goes Wasn't or it from MTV? Yeah. yeah, and then it was like or from Africa, and it goes over. It's just a bunch of black dudes with bones through their noses and spears, and they're like ooga 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 ooga, and you're just like, whoa, hold on. And obviously that was a joke. That was meant to be like ridiculous. But what's was worse? It? Was it a joke, Nick? I really fucking hope so, because if it wasn't, that was, like, really mean. But, so there's that. Uh, that's intentionally a joke. It's obviously just meant to be, like, a goofy thing. Or something that is, like, oh, God, I have a really good example, but it involved some people that we know. So I really don't want to say it. Don't I really say don't names. Say it. Yeah, I'm not going to say names. But something where it's like, <laughs> oh, I want to help spread awareness of uh, this group's suffering or, or you know the the oppression of that group but then in doing so it just becomes really clear that you also have kind of a patronizing view of that group uh-huh. i don't want to be too specific i mean i, I, I but I, I do you know what i'm talking point. do you understand the point i'm making yes so there's that or like that mtv video what is worse and why defend it natalia no wait no <laughs> you go first like, since you made the question <laughs> I didn't think it's it was like, like a which one something. is worse? Um, watching the video with like really condescending stuff. Yes, but obviously, or... obviously made to be a joke, not to be taken seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something that is to be taken seriously, but is also kind of the same way where they're like, "Oh, we're trying to help this group," and it's like, "Okay, but okay, this is a weird example." Last uh, last yeah, episode, we were we were joking around me, Rob, and uh, Jeremy. We're joking around about like, oh, Mexicans at Home Depot and at and at Lowe's. Hey, don't make that face. You know they're there. Don't look at that. Don't make that face. But no, it's just one of those things where you're like, okay, obviously. But then you can go there, and it's like, yeah, if you need help, they're there. They're fine. But so there's nothing really wrong with that if they're there to find work, whatever. But now imagine a video where someone's just like, you need to treat that person with respect, and then they make a video about how you go there. And you see those guys looking for jobs and you're like, that's horrible. And then you hire one of them and then you make them like lead contractor on a big project. And it's just like, you can come up from anything. Someone can take that the wrong way and be like, hold on. Are you saying all Mexicans are Home Depot Mexicans? Well, I guess this also depends on the on the culture. For example, I have a great example of that. Okay. Shut up, please. Okay. Share, share. So, you know, have you seen Speedy Gonzalez? I love Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah. So, like... 
That's like your typical Mexican idea, right? Yeah. The and novelty then the, character everyone recognizes. Yeah, and everyone's like, he, he wears a sombrero, he drinks like tequila, and then the cousin is like lazy and stuff. Uh, like, Slowpoke Rodriguez yeah. is his cousin. But like everyone, there was like this time where people were like against it, mm. but it wasn't like Mexicans against it. It was like Americans. Americans against like it, yeah. this is condescending. Like this is a bad representation. And actually, like in every other cartoon, you see like mariachis or like little animals just dress like charros or doing Mexican stuff, right? Like eating tacos or whatever we picture as Mexican. Yeah. And. We never, like, the one of the good qualities about Mexicans is that one of the, our, we like to make fun of ourselves. Yeah, Mexicans have so, a really good sense of humor. So, like, for example, it, for Mexicans, we don't mind it. Yeah. But it's not the same for every culture, so I cannot sure. speak for any other culture. You know what? That is a way more intelligent <laughs> answer than I was expecting on this podcast. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're pretty intelligent. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You just get me drugs, so that's why I say dumb shit. Dude, I, I'm so I, I re-listened to some of our episodes, and we have an episode about how like you threw up right outside of a car. So intelligent can come or go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say. It's just but no, that's cool. I, yeah, matter of sobriety. <laughs> yes. Yes. But, like, no, no, I totally understand, and that's fine. And obviously, me and Jeremy and Rob were joking. Those guys of Mexican descent. Like, when you actually Rob? made that commercial, I was picturing it in my head. I was like, that doesn't sound like a bad thing, actually. The commercial? Which yeah, commercial? You're, yeah, the guy picking a guy from Lowe's, because that's oh, reality. Yeah, yeah. And oh, I would love happens. for a guy like that to be, like, a lead at a... Pr- I like got a project and a construction site. Yeah, like, like we just watched that episode of The <laughs> Office when Dwight goes to fucking pick up day laborers and they're like, we don't go with that guy because people disappear. And you're like, oh no, is he killing them? And it's like, no, he's fucking with it. He like picks them up, they do a job, and then he leaves them like one county over, but then is like, oh, you're in Canada now. <laughs> like, he just fucks with them. Like, it's, That's horrible! Yeah, it's obvi- but it's also fake. It's a show. Obviously. It's not really happening. Obviously. And it could also be worse. Like, he could actually take them to... Like, it's Dwight. Oh, he could actually I've take them a... to CVP officers or yeah, something. he doesn't know. actually give a mm-hmm. shit. But the funny thing is, I actually just thought of this. Um, I-, I haven't seen the movie. I probably should watch it. Or maybe we should watch it. But, like, I saw this commercial for some movie. I can't remember what the fuck it was called. It was called, like, Desert Hunter or some shit like that. It was a guy... It's the story of one dude, one white dude, an American guy who goes out into the desert in Arizona mm-hmm. when um, Mexican people are trying to come over into the States illegally. So they're walking through, you know, miles and miles and miles of desert. And this dude is out there by himself with a rifle with a scope on it. And he's like sniping them and killing them. And in, in a way, you're just like, that's awful that some people do that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you could be like, Hold on, do you think all white people are doing that? Like, you think every white dude out there is just, who's like, if I'm bored, I'm going to go out into the desert next to my house with a sniper and just wait for some, I don't know if that dude's illegal. He might just be walking to McDonald's. I don't fucking know. Like, that's weird. Side note, as a completely Mexican, I thought Vicky's nail. As a completely Mexican. Vicky's nail was right here on the table and I thought it was a freaking tostada and I was about to eat it. (laughs) Oh no! Because Vicky has yellow nails. It's her fake yellow nails. It doesn't even it doesn't even have that weird pattern of tostadas. Like it's at all. It's yellow. yellow. Sorry. It's like bright yellow woman. You're fatty. So some stereotypes are true. That's what we're saying. (laughs) Like if you're if you're hungry. If you're hungry, you eat tostadas. You eat near, everything that's nearby. in your front of your face. Was I picturing pretzels? No, I'm Mexican. I if, pictured tostadas. <laughs> you got, okay, I'm going to be honest. You guys, when v- Vicky has been taking up shifts at uh, the food pantry here in El Paso. And volunteering. She, volunteering, yes. For money, which is a job. <laughs> She's a nice person. She's a nice person. Volunteering. For free. All of her work for free. But, like, <laughs> you gave us, uh, to, take, to take to my house, you gave us, like, some bags of, like, some pretzel chips, which were cool. Um, we ate one bag of pretzel chips. The other three are still there. Untouched. What? But you know what? We know what we've been eating a lot of. Tostadas. <laughs> <laughs> those, a lot of tostadas. Those pretzels are, are alive. alive. They're so They're amazing. Pretty. They're actually good. really good, honestly. But you know, when someone brings in those hint of lime tostitos tostadas from the gas station, who gives a shit what else is in the fridge? Really? That's I like the, the first thing. <laughs> I like the hint of lime. No, ones. I like the hint of lime. They're pretty good. All right, okay. Here's a new question. What's more Mexican, plain tostadas or hint of lime? Plain. 
playing more Mexican. Or ah, playing? I thought this was gonna be like a funny sister. No, sister. no. <laughs> both of them. No. Like, no, 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 no. The hint of lime is American. American. <laughs> you know what's funny? My Just when America's I was a uh, when, when I still live. Yeah. When I still hey, <laughs> hints of lime are good. Let's be honest here. Those are good chips. I mean, we They're do white. put lime on everything, but real lime. You, you know what? The other day, for the first time in a long time, I had lemon in our house. Like lemon, the yellow one, lemon. Like real one? Yeah, uh, like vegetable? Lemon. That's a fruit, but yes. It's a vegetable, no? No, it's a fruit. Lemons? Lemons and limes are fruits. What? Nah, I'm gonna Google this. Are you yeah, serious? No. They're citrus. They're like oranges. No. Are you serious? Oh, I'll fight you. I have a degree in this. I'm you gonna, know, right? I mean, let's Google it. That's, We're gonna Google it. That's a uh, lie. Are lemons? Oh, with oh, your... I'm spicy. I'm so mad right now. Are lemons fruits or vegetables? They're fruits. Like tomatoes. You're not Google Nick. I'm. I have a degree. What? I'm right. right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> a lemon is classified okay. as a type of fruit. So because it's a citrus fruit. Ah, wait. The reason that it's considered a fruit rather than a vegetable is because it has seeds. Yes, that's that's a classification of fruit. Vegetables don't have seeds. That's why avocado is a fruit. Uh, it's like gonna, it's I'm... like that old quote where it's a uh, um. What is it? Knowledge. The difference between knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put tomato in a fruit salad. <laughs> I'm like so summer. confused, but it's true. No, it's know. true. Because I was going to say, a tomato, it's a vegetable. And I was like, a vegetable. It's a vegetable. fruit, but you don't eat it like a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> like, technically, peppers are fruits, but... Peppers? Yes, because they're So seeds. a jalapeno is a fruit? Yes. That makes no sense. I yes. think jalapeno is a fruit. Google it. How can how la, look no. Me, no? Look me in my eyeballs and tell me I, when you I read this. I can Google and look you in the eyeballs. Okay, Google it, read it, and look me in the eyeballs and try to lie to me. Yeah. Try not to lie to me, you can't do it. Arjalapeños. <laughs> a fruit. Arjalapeños, a fruit. Is guacamole a jam? Is guacamole is it? jelly? No, it's not. I don't it's a salsa. Know. I'm just asking. What is this? Yes. It's a fruit. My life is a lie, Nick. It's not a lie. It's I, it is. You know, fuck you. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. Chilies with their internal edible seeds are most definitely a fruit. <gasps> Along with tomatoes, yeah, zucchini, <gasps> okra, and eggplant. Zucchini? No, no, no. I will take written apologies either through uh, email. <laughs> you can write one out now. I don't accept this. No. It, no, yeah, you no. don't have to. That's crazy. Is this only like an American culture? No. Or like the, you know, actually, the world? do you know what where these definitions started? Can I go oh, ahead yeah. in Spanish France. and see the difference? France. But France, France. France. Don't, they don't have Chile. Yes, they do. They Are do you... not. No, Chile. They... Oh, They're... no, no, no. They don't have Chile. They don't have Chile. I'll give you that. Chile. They don't have Chile. Ah. However, definitions of produce and what makes produce in certain categories came from France. It came from Europe. Mostly France. Probably also from Italy. But they don't know because these things are not... Uh, because regional. they don't know they're French. They don't know anything. They know how to make a long bread that's hard enough to hit a baseball with. That's all they know how to do. And give up. In Spanish that is the, the most same ra- That's probably... I think... I have talked about Mexicans so much on this podcast. I think I've been less racist to them than I have been to French people. And I've only <laughs> mentioned French people like one. French people. Not French. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So, so what are what are some other questions we got questions. from yeah, so we got that. I thought that was going to be like a funny discussion and it ended up being like philosophical I know, I'm sorry. Like for real. <laughs> no, no, that's good. Um uh, I'm opening my mind. Okay, Vicky, this is for you. <gasps> I Sh- have a question. Well, I I it was sent to all of us, but I think it matches you the most. Should public urination be legalized? I think it shouldn't be counted as a sexual offense. That's for sure. Is it? Is yes. it actually? Ooh. No, we yeah. Have a, we okay. have a relative. Okay. We're not going to say who. But he has... Luna? A, no. <laughs> no. But he did get charged with a sexual offense because he was... Uh, yes. Publicly urinating. Yes. Yeah. That's... Yeah, that's pretty shitty. So he was I drunk think, as fuck, but... Yeah, but still, it's not, I mean, he, he's drunk enough. He can't sexually assault anybody. He can't even put uh, it up. No, well, don't, don't, no, no, no. Don't, don't, don't go there. Don't, don't go there. Uh, yeah, but, okay, all right. Oh, go, okay, go, okay, go, okay go, all right. Yeah, sorry. you just went into weird waters. Yeah, but, yeah. Right, sorry. Let's that's, have, the, right re, there. that's the Republican in me coming out. That's I think it just depends on the context. Like, like you as a law enforcement officer, you have, like, logic, right? If you see the dude is like, coming out of a bar he's like he can barely walk and he's like peeing 
next to the sidewalk. Like, he's not doing that yeah. to be, like, a, a show off. Or, yeah. yeah, next to it. And but if it's this creepy dude, like, in front of a school during recess, and he's just, like, showing it off, then, yeah, that's weird. So you have to have, like, context. I would also say urination is, like, a big part of that. Like, if some dude is just, has it, okay, let's, let's go so- backwards yeah. on this. If a dude has his dick out and is not peeing, that's not public urination. Exactly. That's a problem. If a dude has his dick out and is clearly peeing onto a bush outside of a bar, he's a little drunk and he shouldn't be doing that. But sure. But like kids, like whenever, like there's, there's always this time in your life where you're out on the street and you really gotta pee and there's no restrooms. Like, yes. like I used to volunteer yeah. at the El Paso Marathon. Yeah. And like, once I got set up on mile 12 or something. And yeah. the restrooms next to my water station were locked. So all the runners that were going through my mile, they were like <laughs> peeing, pooping, having diarrhea or whatever. They couldn't use the toilet. So some of them, yeah, they did public... Um, Defecation, urination, urination. etc., etc. Et not on purpose. Like, they had to. Yeah, because yes. you couldn't get in there. Exactly. So... I think, yeah. And sometimes you're like, in a point of your life. Well... Point me your Everyone's life. Everyone's had a dude. Yeah, that you just will the have way, a moment that exactly. you have to pee. <laughs> I've, I've peed Don't outside. Don't matter what. On the road or I yeah, don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I that Camping. makes perfect sense. Yes. Exactly. But, okay, hold on. Now here's another thing. If you're camping and you go outside to pee and someone gives you a ticket for that, Does they're that an count? idiot. No, they're an idiot. That's stupid. But I don't know. You're Does camping. that count? It is the same because it's it is public. public urination. Like if someone else is where we what? went camping, if it's, that's there was a row some, next to us. What if someone saw you? If, it, yeah, if they called and reported, damn. okay. First of all, that's hoping. the that's like the a, dumbest case like ever. Because then you the ask, entrance of our tent. Nick. Oh, and that was just <laughs> No, but here's the thing. Know. Okay, let's let's give that scenario some. Let's give it some credit. If you're <laughs> if you're camping, and you have a tent, and then you're outside, like let's say twenty feet away from your tent, and you're pooping, and someone drives by at that road and sees you and calls somebody and is like, "I just saw public defecation." Like, a they have to provide proof. There's no. I mean, you're poop. There's carrots uh, everywhere. Yeah, I buried it. Yeah, they're gonna go what dig if it they up. They took pictures of video of me. <gasps> you would have to see them. You'd be squatting. You'd look up, and there'd be some idiot in his car <laughs> with his iPhone out or his tablet that'd be even funnier because it's, it's big from a distance with his tablet zooming in on you Karen's always have tablets yeah have Karen, oh, why do they yeah Karen's have tablets and they have flip phones why the fuck is that a thing <laughs> Dude, phone. flip phones are coming back by the way I don't know if you guys saw that I, I, I showed these two the other day there's a smartphone that flips in half and I don't know why I've never been more excited I the thought that was, I thought that was cool as hell. <laughs> it's so dumb. But yeah, I was like, oh. I'm, I mean, I love it, but I'm just scared of me knowing myself. Yeah, you like would break bending it. it yeah, over. The I'm wrong like, way. Oh my yeah. God. Would break it. Dude. I mean, this phone has survived for a year. No more, two years. Dude, I had a flip phone when I was in high school that was like, it had a button where you push it on the side and it flipped itself open. It was the coolest thing ever. And, Natalia, we talked about this earlier, that in some emergency situations, you can just pop the back off, and the battery comes out, like, if it's playing during a play, like, or if it rings during a play, or if it rings during a it speech. It rings during, like, I was, the first time I was sitting in the front row seat of a lecture, because you know how they always tell you, like, sit at the front row so you can learn more, right? You never heard that? Yeah. yeah. So I did that. <laughs> it's, it's like the knowledge filters through all the rows of so people. So I wasn't doing great wow. on my political science class. So I did that. I sat at the front. That was your solution. The first time I tried it, my phone rings. So I couldn't turn it off and I just like took off the battery. To be fair, if you're in a, if you're in a theater, you should feel bad. Yes. You should have. There's signs of her. However, if you're in class, like if you whip it out and you turn it off and you look back up, the teacher shouldn't call you out. No one calls me, so it was just bad timing. That was weird. <laughs> Damn, that's sad. You all right? Is that what you downloaded Tinder again? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Yeah, she's trying to make her life. I don't know. Okay, well, here's my thing. So we were talking about should public urination be legal? Legal? Yes, I mean, not, not the... And we're Obviously, we talked about the intricacies of what is public urination and yeah. within your dick slash I think there should be out. just like... It shouldn't be illegal, but there should be a different charge. Right? Yes, just like more. Well, there is. Like yeah, there is. Public urination is a different charge from public exposure, public indecency. Oh, I do. Everyone I know that has been charged with public urination gets 
charged with really? the How explosion. many people do you know that are charged with the I don't know. I just hang out with drunk people. Oh, fuck. That's true. All right. So, uh, uh, Luna didn't hear that. She's asleep in the other room. She didn't hear that. Uh, so, okay. That that's a another. I don't know if they're guys. Nice you, gotta, you guys got to write out. You guys got to write in like crazier questions because these all have like decent <laughs> answers. But I mean, no, I mean, if you're I'll a cop or you know about the law, like, can you please explain to us? Like, no, yeah, yeah, that, that's you know super someone weird. that really knows about this. I will say, if public urination, do is, you think it should be legal? I it mm, here's my take on it. A Dude, like, come on. Like, some, well, if some dude's outside so of a easy. bar... No, but not even that. Like, if some dude's outside of a bar and he's peeing on a bush, side, like, also a girl going behind the bush and peeing, like, squatting and doing whatever, like, who fucking cares? They're not hurting anybody. Like, in other they're countries, really they, they pee and they It's poop, normal. In like, India, they fucking pee on the streets. I mean, it's not hygienic. I, I think there should be, like, some, like, public spaces where you could. Well, I think that the, should be cool, no? I mean, we're like animals either way. It's a human necessity. Dang it, there's a... Oh, I'm going to look this up. You guys keep talking, but I'm going to look this up. There was like a... There was a French thing where they made... What was it French? It was a European place where they made uh, public toilets that almost look like those big kiosks in New York. Yeah. That are just something that people put a lot of posters on. So you can be like, oh, there's a play over here. There's things like that. But you walk in, and there's a small wall that blocks you out, and they just have urinals in there. And you can go. Someone did that. But then there's other ones where they have, like, these things that the way that they have little ridges on them, mm-hmm. that the way that they're angled, that if you pee on them, the pee splashes back on you. That's and I, and I can't or maybe, or remember maybe not which make is it illegal, which. but, I mean, if you're going to make something illegal, then you should actually help people, like, by putting toilets in yes. public spaces. Public. Like, yeah. in downtown. Downtown. Oh, yeah. Early this year, we have a public restroom. Near San Jacinto Plaza. Like, everyone hangs out around there. After There's all no these public years? Restaurants. Yeah. Like, after all these years, I can actually have a drink. And go out and pee. Go huh. out and pee like a normal person. And not worry that I have, like, an hour after I drink my coffee. Before sure. Before I have to go back home. Yeah. But it's, it's also the same. Like, I would say, if public urination is illegal now, we have to make breastfeeding illegal. What? Nicholas? <laughs> Nicholas? Okay, um, yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. Also, context. No. Like, if you're sitting in a restaurant and some girl has a blanket over her shoulder and it's she's food for a baby. Are, is it say, why are you yeah, it's food? food for a tree? I'm peeing on a tree. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's dude, that's totally. the same thing, baby. I have to bring my dad's shrubs back to life. I must pee on them. No, no. no. Like, my I dad's think shrubs, like they're right outside of a bar. Milk like is not the same as pee. Why? I think Argue. Why? What is it? It's a bodily excretion. Nutritious. It's nutritious? You don't know that? Have you ever drank pee? Yeah. I, what? Actually, you have? Yeah, it's actually, there's this called thing. Uh, pee lodge? No, no. It, <laughs> well, in Spanish, it's urine therapy. And a lot of people drink it because it's... Uh, pee therapy. No, no. What do you call it? I'm totally willing to hear this out. But well, the fact that I was like, have you ever drank well, pee? And Spanish, you looked into my eyes. Is it uh, urino, urino. Un momento, pero la pipi es... Urine has no... Nutritional value? Yeah, there's nothing in it. Okay. Um, Actually, like, it does. You produce pee to expel the waste of your body, right? And the sure. extra liquid. Milk from breastfeeding, it's only created when you have to feed a human baby. Okay. Like, ladies are not milking every day. <laughs> Because we don't have to feed babies every day. Could you imagine if you went to a bar and you see some girl that just had a kid who's like, I got a babysitter tonight. And she has like five beers and goes outside and is like, excuse me. And goes up to a shrub and it just starts like squeezing her boobs up on I mean, the shrub. I wouldn't mind. That'd I be mean, fucking hilarious. I, she has to do it then. I mean, I, I get I cry. that, but I, in the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's because sometimes you get a lot of milk. I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's fine. But like, if it was like a byproduct of being like way too drunk. Yeah. Where you're just like, sorry guys, I'm oh. sloshed. And you went out and you just lifted your shirt and bra and we're just well, like... Well, if you drink beer, you produce more milk. So it is actually a byproduct. Wait, what is the alcohol that you drink and you make? Malt. More malt. Malt. All right. That's why I was making fun of you at the sushi restaurant. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> you lied to me. You're like, oh, malt's different from beer. And I was like, it says alcoholic right here. And you're like, no, no, it's different. It's different. You believe it. You're gullible. Because That's actually I, a good question, guys. Do you think malt, it's an alcoholic... 
drink? Is it equal to beer? Ignore ignore the fact no. that the bottle I was drinking said it's malt and five percent alcohol. Have... Malt is the plant, like the seed. No, malt is a byproduct of fermenting hops. Ah, whatever. Which is what beer is. I don't know. I need to make more research. I I need a peer-reviewed article to tell me. I need New York (laughs) Times to to tell me. To tell me that malt is a fruit. Ah! Make a fruit. (laughs) It's a fruit. (laughs) And you know what, guys? I think that's our cue to take a break. We'll be right back. (laughs) Yeah, nastiness. To America's favorite sound. Oh my god, fill that wine glass up more, why don't you? Well, because I'm trying to finish it. This weekend at the Town Hall Convention Center, the annual underfunded local anime music and nerd gaming convention, or Ulamang Con for short. This year, we're bringing our A-game. Where else can you meet celebrities like Joe Schmo, background extra in over two Star Trek episodes? Hey, uh, you guys are sure that the check's not gonna bounce this time, right? We've got all the best local artists selling prints of the exact same three superheroes as last year. Well, the reason I'm selling these prints again this year is because nobody bought any last year. Nobody ever brings more than like $15 for ramen and Pocky. Professional cosplayers from all over are welcome to come and show off their costumes. Whoa, that costume looks awesome. I love Spike Spiegel. Not the costume, jackass. I'm homeless. Any change? And it wouldn't be an Ulamang convention without everybody's favorite techno night. The last day of the con will have a rave party to end all rave parties starting at 8 p.m. I'm so excited for the rave. Oh, oh uh, but just a quick reminder, nobody under the age of 17 is allowed without a chaperone. Oh, and no alcohol. And no drugs. And it ends at 9.15, so that the origami panel can have the room by 9.30. Oh my god, it's just so exciting. So we're back. I got it. Yeah, we got a we got a new question. Question that I wrote during the break. That's not even fair. What? I wrote a question. Did you write a question? No, you didn't tell us we could write a question. Well, you got some time now. No, I'm sorry. (laughs) Hold on. So here's the question, (laughs) guys, boys, boys, girls, guys, ladies and gentlemen, e boys and fuck girls. Vicky, what would you do if one day you woke up? And all of Luna's limbs were replaced with octopus tentacles. Like, men in black? Like, when the baby Yeah, no, no, but like... Oh, Luna, that's a baby. Luna is... No, no, no. Luna is still the same. Head, <laughs> oh, head no to pelvis, everything is still the same. But shoulders down, hips down, octopus tentacles. Yes, like, randomly? Yeah, like, you wake up one day, and then she's just like, Mommy, I can't stand up. And you go over, and she's just like... Does she look cute or no? It's it's Luna the same. No, so but like, are the arms cute or are they gross? The octopus tentacles, like you would see at a Chinese buffet. I mean, those are cute. Are they? <laughs> when I what? eat them, Victoria, <laughs> Victoria likes to eat them. So you just eat Luna? No, I would not eat Luna. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I would not kill. Her. And then you tell her to do her homework, and she grabs a pencil, and it just gets all slimy, and, like slides everywhere. Wait, why would you put her to do homework instead of taking well, her to the doctor? She's in classes. She's got shit to do. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I would make money off of her. Like, find a, <laughs> find a circus or something. Yeah. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, like, but in a good way, not in, like... Explosion. That's why you guys don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's one of my reasons. In case they're born with fucking you tentacles in instead circus? of arms. No, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, exactly. Nick, Nick, yes. I have a question for you. Okay. What will you do? Sell it to the circus, make money. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> it was first my questions. Okay. Right. Now it's just gonna flip the situation. What would you do if one day you can visit Vicky and she has all tentacles, no limbs? How many? One like tentacle four. per arm? Four, she has four, yeah. Uh, I'd start calling her Squidward. Would you, would you still date her? No. <laughs> would you sell her? <laughs> no, that's. I mean, she's your family. You guys do whatever you want with that. But I, I move on. That's your money. <laughs> with that, that's a keyword. With that, okay, move on with that. <laughs> Nicholas. So that's that's what you've learned today, Vicky. Don't ever trade in your limbs for tentacles, or I'll break up with you. I will love you. <laughs> 
güey. No, no, no. Make sushi. <laughs> you, you just cut it slowly. You just cut me up. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, it's a good question. Hey, why not? Guys, boys, right in. You why dry not? him up. You just... You make, you make dried... Octopus? octopus? Why not? Well, I will make like a... a not that like sounds a ceviche. Like a ceviche. That would be good. Yeah, but you have like a lot... Now, now quick, we gotta, we gotta also talk about what our real reactions would be, which was... You'd go over it, you'd open the door, and you'd see your girlfriend on the couch with the limbs, and she'd be like, Ah, help me! And you'd be like, Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, It'd be a lot more panicky than just make... Your first thought wouldn't be ceviche. Your first thought would be like, ah! <laughs> Call the police! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, like, sure. once again, Nick, am I sober during this interaction? Am I hungry? <laughs> I, I feel like two shots. Am I ready to cook? <laughs> like, if I came over and Vicky had transformed into a half tentacle monster, yeah. and I come over and your all's mom is outside and yeah. is like, Nick, before you go in there, be ready. have a couple shots. <laughs> and she just gave me two shots of tequila and I was no. like, Ugh. You need five? Nah, okay, he had one the... mezcal and he was like that. Yeah, so she gives me a, a shot of mezcal, the, big, the big shots, no. <laughs> and then she's like, all right, relax for a second, and then when she chatted with me about, I don't know, whatever, for like five minutes for the yeah. take of it, and then opened the door, and then Vicky was just on the couch, like, <laughs> and then Mom, I'd be like, like Ugh. Do you know, know? Can you control tentacles? Do you know what they do? Yeah, I don't know. Tasty. I mean, what? I mean, Squidward can play the the claro, clarinet. The clarinet. Yeah. Not well, let's be honest. It is pretty well. I don't know about you. Maybe Victoria is musically inclined, and we don't know. Like I walk in, and she's just shredding on an electric guitar. With she has never tentacles. played an instrument actually in her life. So yeah, that you've was... never played an instrument. No, I never played. An Are instrument. you serious? Did I ever tell you guys? Okay, the one yeah. instrument that I know how to play is the tenor sax. Did I ever tell you why? What is that? The tenor saxophone? I don't know. What is that? It's a saxophone. saxophone in the tenor key. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. Saxophones have different keys. Like really? Some sound high, some sound I'm sorry, low. Natalia had to take that over for a second. I was just shocked that Vicky didn't know the She has never saxophone. played an instrument. Uh, like she knows nothing about okay. it. I know. I tell me about sports. Don't tell me about okay. music. Instruments. Let me tell you about a better story about <laughs> instruments. It's a good point. Here's the reason I wanted to learn tenor sax. Because at that time, when I learned, Bill Clinton... Did you like the girl? No. Bill Clinton was getting kicked out of office for getting his dick sucked. Yes. And I knew he played tenor sax, and I was like, well, if the president's getting his dick sucked for playing tenor sax... No, you're lying. No, I'm not lying. So you did it for... I was like, I'm gonna get a little No, he did it for the president. (laughs) No, I did it because if I was like, well, if he's alluring all these women with with tenor sax... All guys that play sax want to allure girls. I mean, I they mean, are yeah. sexy, kind of. I play the <laughs> flute, the transversal flute. It's useless in real life. <laughs> the what? The what flute? The flute. The actual you just, flute. But what did you, the, the, the trans what? Hmm. Transversal flute? That's what it's called? I guess, I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I don't know, I just made up these words for truth. For it sounds fancy, doesn't it? But I play it. I mean, yeah. If it's I came like up with a tenor sax. if I came up with a if I came up with a, a five syllable word, well, start he could saxophone. have just said, "I play the sax," right? Yeah, I he had to say it, the the sound specifically tenor sax because What's that's what Bill, because that's what Bill Clinton played. It's the the note range. But nobody cares, Nicholas. Hey, man, Monica Lewinsky cared. Only her, only her. You don't know that. And maybe Hillary. I will. <laughs> yeah, it's a transverse flute. Sorry. Transverse had... flute. Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, transverse flute. All right. Oh my god, you nerds! Only nerds play music. I'm sorry, we appreciate music. Sorry, I was in band. Nerds. So only I nerds in... are in I band. I was in band too. Only nerds play band. Let me show you. We have three people here. Two of them are nerds. Two of them put play in band. One of them had an unwanted kid fight me. Oh, yeah, that's not a nerd. <laughs> that's not a nerd that's at actually, all. Yeah, that actually fits into the narrative. The athlete. Had a baby, so that actually fits exactly. Dang. Thank you, thank you for just like making sure that you guys are nerds. <laughs> okay. So Vicky, Vicky's favorite stroke was in swimming was the tenor butterfly. Yeah, that doesn't exist at all, but okay. You don't know that. Yeah, whatever, nerd. That's so true. <laughs> Did you ever go to state? Dude, we're so nerds. Yes. <laughs> she went, went to like I went to nationals. nationals. Oh my god. She was actually pretty good. Um, and then I got pregnant. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't very good. Exactly like that. I could have. Like, I was, I was the bad. last, the last, the last meet that I went for swimming, my coach was like, 
dude. You're too pregnant. You gotta go no, home. No, he yeah. was like, dude, <laughs> just keep going because, like, there's, obviously, at your age, there's people dropping off, obviously. So, you you will be really good now, better than before. So, the girl that was, like, at the same time, the same time <laughs> as, as Vicky, like, in the same category, same age, and whatever. Yeah. And had the same times. Like, she went to the Pan American Games. <laughs> And so, Vicky, <laughs> sadness. I got pregnant. That's she could like, be, she could be like a an Olympian. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like a Michael Phelps. You know, she eats like you could Michael, have met Michael Phelps. Phelps. <laughs> I mean, I eat like. Okay, Michael guys, Phelps, write it. Vicky okay. has a crush on Michael Phelps, yes. and that dude looks like a fucking pot plant with giant ears. What the fuck? You're just jealous. Don't mean you jealous, can't swim man. like him. I'm jealous that I couldn't be that cool and get body. busted for weed. He's There's no way that didn't do anything worse. He got depression, okay? He he has a new HBO <laughs> What? Show. No, just what? Kidding, no. <laughs> it's a documentary about his life. He swims really how. fast for an hour and Shut up, you don't him. you didn't do anything like him. He's wonderful. So I play, I played golf for three years in high school, okay? You know what I did with that? Nothing. Nothing, because golf sucks. Nerd. <laughs> I played tennis. I get, I get, <laughs> I get yeah. the feeling Nick, you, you I guys, feel like we could have been you best guys, friends in high school. You guys played. <laughs> we would have been no. friends. I would have had a crush on your sister, and your yes. sister would have fucking made fun of me every day. You guys play nonsense sports. Well, yeah, because I didn't want a real <laughs> sport. Wait, I didn't like for survival. Athletic. For survival, I, do you need tennis for survival? If there's a zombie do you need apocalypse, to swing? I can like swing at their head. I can actually aim and hit it. With precision, obviously. Yes, with precision <laughs> and force. They the follow the view. You will force. know the wind. I could even put effect on their head. <laughs> as they hit you to swim through the waves I mean, of zombies. Just, ugh, the little no, but me. you can swim through the lakes. You I don't can, even I, know how to swim. I know how to so. swim. I know how to swim. What the fuck are you talking the about? Of you don't know how I to know swim, how to swim. I, I, know how I swim will not eight. drown. Okay. I will not win the Olympics. I will not. I will not. I will not participate in this <laughs> nonsense of nerds. Nonsense. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, why didn't you tell me how that new uh, Baby Yoda mat that you bought's doing, you fucking nerd? What mat? I, that's Natalia. It's like your, Natalia got a new No, she got the bed, bed sheet. She got the bed sheet. You got like a blanket. <laughs> I did not. I wish I had. My boyfriend could have bought it, but... <laughs> He was too busy paying for her fucking no, expensive no can, sushi shut addiction. Up, shut up. No one can have baby Yoda stuff in this house except for me. And Luna. She has underwear. The child is mine. And I <laughs> only child. share with the other child. <laughs> the child's The share. child. No, I call it the child because in Spanish it's funnier that way. <laughs> this is the child. The Yoda. child. I don't know the, the name in Spanish at all. I haven't tried to Lechuga. look for it. I don't. I don't. I don't watch <laughs> Star Wars. I don't watch Star Wars in Spanish. Lechuga. 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 What is lechuga? It's lettuce. It's lettuce. Yeah. You, return. <laughs> you just hold up a fucking little ba- Jesus. A little bale of iceberg. It looks like uh, no of romaine lettuce. It looks like Yoda. Not it's not romaine lettuce. lechuga. <laughs> you, what? Yeah, it is. It's totally fine. Wouldn't that be like the minions or something? Like talking? Yeah. Well, they do say that in that episode. In the Mandalorian. The, yeah, yeah. Like, the Jawas yeah, eating the egg. Like, yeah. Oh, sugar. But it's not like sugar. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> and maybe in the French version of the Mandalorian. <laughs> la oof. La oof. Lechuga. <laughs> Lechuga. <laughs> Lechuchu. So, speaking of the Mandalorian, uh, we got to talk about that fucking movie we watched earlier. Oh. That's not. That has not. It has nothing anything. to do with the Mandalorian. I was just trying to change. <laughs> nothing at all. It's like you. It's like you don't. Wait, 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 comedy. wait. Let do me... you even remember the name of the yes, movie? Yes, I wrote uh, it haunting... down. Haunting. No, no, don't no, write no, it no. down. Why I wrote Tell it down? Me the name of the movie. You wrote it down. Yes. It's called the Haunting of. No, is the Haunted of Valley of Crest Valley? No, 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 no. Is the Haunted the Return of the. The, the haunted of house the of the Silicon Valley or something. Like that. Silicon Valley. It's the, the real, the real housewives of the Bates Motel. Uh, we watch this amazing scary movie called Silicon A Valley. Haunting at Silver Falls: oh. The Return. Almost. You yeah. you got some keywords in there. Wait, I got haunting. Valley. You got falls. There's Someone a valley said return. there. No, I think you confuse silver for silicon. And then falls <laughs> for the valley. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's quite, a, quite a common error. It has a whole error. Quite a common error in, in, in English. 
Please, Nick, tell us why we ended up no, watching no, no. that movie. Wait, wait. First. Yes. Let's rate this movie before saying anything about it. Okay. Out of 10. Out of 10. Not that you go first. <laughs> this is hard, actually, because I would, like, rate the room at a 10 for... But that's a good movie. Yeah, yeah, for it's full like time enjoyment. The yeah. room. The okay, room no, no, no. enjoyment. Ten. But we're, we're yeah. talking about you. Out of enjoyment, the room, sure, is a 10. Yes. But here's the thing for me. I actually said this with uh, Jeremy and Rob last episode where I was like, while watching the room, the room is a solid, like, negative 1,000. I hate it. it. It hurts so much to watch. Wait, oh. which one? Retrospectively, this one? I enjoy the room so much more. Okay. No, I think no, it's no. funny like, to think about But it's it also like, watch. are you watching it for real? Are you watching it with people? Are you watching it but alone? Did you watch you it watch at the, the Alamo alone? Draft House? If like... you watch The Room alone, that's fucking sad. Exactly. <laughs> if you watch it, with... but I didn't watch it alone. I watched it with you guys and some yeah, other friends. Yeah, but you were you were going for it with a negative attitude, like you were expecting like a good movie. Yeah, Actually, you didn't I, even want no, to no, watch no, it. I wasn't expecting a good movie. But we no. hyped it up, and you thought it was like a whole different thing because you kept complaining I th- I the whole way movie, through. I thought it was a movie intentionally made to be bad, like it was a goofy, oh, intentional, no. like, like scary movie. That's no, 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 that's a parody. Movie. That's a parody. Still, I almost thought that the room, the way that you guys sold me on the room, was like it's a movie that's just made to just be shitty, and you're supposed to watch it and be like, aha, that's funny that they no, got no, that no. wrong. Like, but then I watched it and I was like, this guy, Tommy never Rizzo, said that. Uh, Nick. I know you didn't straight oh, up say no, it, wait, but wait, I took wait. it like that. But so I 100 percent believe that Tommy. No, I, be- I listened, <laughs> but it, what I what I translated it to in my mind oh, was okay. like. This movie isn't going to be bad, and it's funny that it's bad. But as I was watching it, the actual sheer sincerity of Tommy Wiseau being like, this is going to be a good movie, and people are going to watch it and be like, yeah, what a great movie, and then it's going to have a tragic ending. That's what I... That's what makes it great, Nick. That's why... Yes, I I agree. I would have never explained it the other way around that you thought it was. Sure, but once (laughs) I watched it, I was like, I... If I met anybody in the world, if I got signed on to some project that they were like, we have a hundred thousand dollar budget, we're gonna go crazy. Well, I know I'd be someone like, like that yeah. in El Paso, but yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna we all names. know someone like that in El Paso. <laughs> we all do. Starts with. Uh, don't say it. Starts, what? With, I it starts with Victoria. Yes. And, um, I say yes. <laughs> ah. no, no, anyways, that but like that's but, yeah, a, yeah, that's yeah. a ten for me, regardless of context or whatever. Like. I enjoyed it. The first time I watched it, without knowing a lot of things about it, I enjoyed it because it was... It's entertaining. It's a masterpiece in a weird way. <laughs> it's um, a weird... Yeah. Please. This movie, I'll give it a... This one that we watched. I'll give it a three for in the horror genre. A three. I'd give it a three also, or a 2.5, just because... No, no, just say the rating. 2.5. Nick? I give it a 2. Okay. Because there were there were some scenes in there. Yeah, we didn't ask you why, Nicholas. You have to wait. Okay, Jesus fucking Christ. It's 2. Fuck. Natalia didn't let me explain. This right. You don't get to explain. <laughs> I give it a 2. Natalia, defend your score. And give examples. This sounds like a fucking test in high school. Please <laughs> Just support a your Just a quick one. opinion with examples. It's a 3 because I've seen worse. Um, and Damn. yes, please watch The Presence. I don't know if it's still available on Netflix, it's but I will horrible. never forget how horrible that movie was. Did I watch that with you guys? That no, no, you no, must no. have told we, me about it. You about we it. Told, you must have told we me survived about it. 10 minutes of The Presence. No, <laughs> okay, like at least only 10. Like, I survived like 40. It's a three because The Haunting of Silver Falls, The Return. Like, I was tired. I've been at work the whole day, and mm-hmm. I didn't fall asleep, Nick. I did mm-hmm. not fall asleep. Okay. I hated okay. the ending. Ending was bad. Ending was bad. Makeup was questionable. <laughs> it um, was horrible. <laughs> it was kind of like Scooby-Doo-like, but I still could feel hooked to the story, right? Yeah. So I, I, I finished the movie. That's a three. I think okay. I think the writing. I think, yes, it's like... I think just the, <laughs> I think just the, the, the script. The script. That's the issue right there. No doubt. It will have been way better if just the beautiful 
play right. We'll just like connect everything. <laughs> but he was like, <laughs> if the rules were consistent, also. And he was like, not even the rules, like the <laughs> fights. You were talking about the fights, Nick. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Let's okay. let's talk about. I'm sorry, Vicky. Are you done? I don't want to cut you. I mean, I don't know. I just wanted to say something about the the first scene. Stop spilling. Wine. She's spilling uh, pretzels everywhere. And why is and, it? And, 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 and. No, so I think just the first, first scene. That's all I want to say. A doctor with. Oh my god! Oh, the first thing we saw, I and then it. she never takes them off. She, there was a, yeah. The, okay, so here's the story. Why? I don't know. Here's the story. <laughs> now, no. first of all, what we figured out. No oh spoilers. My, no spoilers. No spoilers. Oh, in case anyone wants to watch this fucking <laughs> masterpiece. <laughs> Dude. Better than the presents. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, that's God. If that was on their like promotional poster, dude, <laughs> like of all the the quotes from like Better reviewers, it's presents. just like dude. it's just like daunting atmosphere, very horrific. Another great line in this trip, and it's, it was better than the presents. <laughs> just one person. No, Nick. Time. No, Nick. <laughs> like I want to put you through through ten minutes of the presents. If I find it again. That's horrific. Yeah, because, because we rented on Redbox. You will never forget it, Nick. Dude, never. You've, you've wanted to put me through entire movies before. The fact that you only want to put me through 10 minutes of the present <laughs> is horrible. No, no, yeah, it's, it's way better. Horrifying. I think for you, it's way better than Jurassic World and Solo oh, and all of those. I maybe. feel I feel so bad. Oh, by the way, side note, boys. Um. We I wanted to watch rewatch solo we will, today. We will. It's no, no, no. on YouTube, Nick. It's yes. on YouTube. <gasps> the present. The movie? Yes. Oh, of course it is. Do you have Amazon Prime? Uh, no, but my roommate does. I could totally make it happen. It's also free on Amazon. <gasps> Damn, I'll yeah. find it after. So here's. But let's talk about this movie that we watched today. So. Uh, what is it? The Haunting of Silver Falls the Return? Yes. Something like that? No, so, The Haunting of Silicon Valley. No. I don't know. <laughs> the Fox? The Haunting of Silicon Valley, the anesthetic. Silver no, Fox. <laughs> Silver Fox. So, no, no. So, in this movie, the whole point... Okay, first of all, we found out maybe, like, what? In the first 15 minutes? A, it's a sequel. Yes. We didn't see the first movie. The name <laughs> didn't give us that clue, right? No, we, we got that I, I said it. We were like... But there have been movies out there before that are like... <laughs> it's a sequel, no... no. No, no wonder some things didn't make sense. Okay, I get no, it. No, some of it you didn't. You just didn't realize that. No, no I just want to. I feel dumb. No, 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 no. if it, it wasn't was... a sequel, it would have been horrible. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, it that's true. It would be like, why do you have a ring? It's, it's clearly referencing Twins. things from another movie. <laughs> now, granted, all the context clues are there. I will give the movie that all the context clues are there for yeah. a previous movie. You so know like, what is okay. it about completely? Sure. So you it's know like who okay. wins. <laughs> yeah. So you're like sure. Okay. Whatever. However. um I'm trying to think of how to put this. At the beginning of the movie, okay, here's the first scene. The beginning of the movie is one of the first main characters walking down in uh, a hallway in a, a hospital or something, and she's wearing Uggs. <laughs> and that had nothing to do with anything, but me and Vicky saw that, and we're like, <laughs> what kind of fucking medical professional <laughs> goes to their job in full scrubs, full white coat, you know, uh, what are, what the, yeah. uh, the uh, what's the, the stethoscope That's around the show? Everything and, and fucking board. Uggs. <laughs> I, I can forgive Crocs, but Uggs. Crocs are meant to Crocs be worn all good, day yeah. so they don't fuck your life feet up. That makes sense. Uggs are. Have you worn Uggs? They're very comfortable. I wore a friend of mine's Uggs, and she's like trying to comfy. And I walked around, and I was like, you know what else is comfy? Fucking sneakers. You like, felt you felt like the whole. I, I felt like I needed 11 <laughs> gallons of pumpkin spice latte pumped into my eyeballs at that moment in my life. And then I for loco after. Uh, loco, oh, fuck. If White Claw existed back then, I would have craved White Claw. But that's not what I would. It was just, God, it was so bad. Like, that was just the first shot, and we laughed about that. But, yeah. unfortunately, that set the tone of the movie, and we laughed at everything after that. She- she Which, granted, everything after that deserved to be laughed at. It was yes. fucking bananas. And it was she, so dumb. She kept the Uggs. The she wore them movie. the whole rest of the movie. Really? She yeah. changed outfits. She still wore her Uggs. She, no, she only switched. Oh, she did. She had the scrubs, the and then shirt. she had her home outfit. And then she had the outfit when they tried to go save the No, other no. But she the had two costume changes. Yeah, no, yeah, it was only two, because when she went home from the hospital, it was the same shirt, but she only switched. The coat, the doctor coat, for a sweater. Okay. So but she, still but wore she her, kept the same shirt. She still wore her scrubs? 
Yeah, no, no, it wasn't shirt. It wasn't like a normal shirt. She didn't wear scrubs. What fucking yeah, medical wearing, professional? No, it was jeans. What? <laughs> it was jeans. This is even worse now. This is getting more bizarre. And she just kept her up. Can I just say, Vicky, that since you studied that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever do the hair and makeup for a movie, <laughs> can you please like not use Uggs? No, no, can you, you please like do the makeup that they did for the twins <laughs> in this movie? Oh my no. lord. <laughs> They have better nose than me. I was very confused, and that was that was actually one of my favorite parts. I was very confused. Was it CGI? Was it like? It was, was it yeah. like makeup? Was it like a, a well, spirit it? Halloween? Mask? I can I can recognize exactly what it was. They went in between different kinds of shots, and I remember this. This is really dumb, but I remember this for multiple reasons. But the thing that it reminded me of is when. The Haunted Mansion Eddie Murphy movie came out. Yes. That if you went to McDonald's where they had all the toys, and, and back then when they had the screens playing, like, the trailer over yeah. and over, and just little tidbits of, like, oh, here's how they did this in the movie. The scene where Eddie Murphy tries to tackle that one guy and goes right through him. Yeah. They're like, here's what they did. They had three different scenes layered over each other. Eddie Murphy tackling empty space, and then a guy standing in empty space being tackled by nothing. Like, nothing was there. And then, like, the ghost poof that turned into green smoke. Was completely CGI, so they like they layered those over each other, so it looked like Eddie Murphy went through a green ghost, and like, all right, that's cool. And as a kid, you're like, that's really interesting. That technology is like 17 years old, yeah. And they did it in this movie that came out in 2019. Yeah, it was like, oh, well, it's from last yeah, year. It's like recent. last year. Yeah, it's super recent. Yeah. And the the thing How is, how did I like, miss this amazing movie from the theater? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, like that, I thought it was going to be on the Oscar. Also, cut everything else to the side. <laughs> cut everything else to the side. Let's just say that fucking title is a mouthful. Yes. That's a big title. Yeah, Silver uh, Fox and Silicon Valley. House <laughs> of Silver <laughs> Fox: The Return. Jesus. I like mine better. I don't know about you guys. So what they did is that, here's the makeup. If I had to describe the makeup of the twins, which is the first set of ghosts, oh, that at first is like. Kind of antagonizing the main characters. That is only like the five seconds. Well, yeah, a little bit. Like, because they know who they are. Yeah, yeah. And sure. then you're like, okay, now they're kind of on our side because we won them over. The way that they did this, it's it's two girls in long white dresses with black dye in their hair that's kind of over their faces. But their faces are completely... It looks like they got that reflective paint that you're supposed to put on the road. So that your high beams push up. And they put it over the girls' faces and they put like weird cracks in it. Yeah. So it's two women that look that don't look creepy at all. And then just with like slightly reflective, shiny, over the top, bloom turned up to a thousand faces with cracks in them. And then they're like, oh, it's the ghosts. And then out of nowhere, they came up with like this ring side thing where they're like, oh, the ghosts have rings that if they put them on you, you're cursed. And that's the only way you can touch ghosts. It kind of gave me a vibe of the movie The Ring. That's what I said. Ryu yeah. from Japan. You know uh, what? It was like the twins look exactly like the girl from The Ring. You know what? The makeup? White dress, creepy face, long black hair. And, exactly. they, and they have like uh, pointy noses. No, no noses. Like I don't the even Grinch. think they had point, pointy noses. Yeah. I think it was just there was so much makeup on them. Like <laughs> layered you forward. Could, you could see all the layers. It was funny. Oh yeah. It was like, amazing. I took, I took makeup class and I can totally do that the same as crappy as that because I'm a, I'm a scrappy makeup artist I, I can do exactly like that baby thank you Nico <laughs> damn right no, no, these, these ghosts look awful they look really bad they it look the only time that like the effects look kind of cool is when someone would walk through something physical I like and the then last part yeah and you're like okay that looks cool they, yeah, the last part where the ghost walks through a, a, a whole table, like, completely gets through it because they're on the other side. Yeah. And you're like, oh, 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 it's a threat now. And then they beat her by grabbing her. Because it's a her, ghost. Yeah, it's a ghost. You, gotta, you can grab a ghost. Yeah, you know. L- holding her down on the table. The same way that we put Luna to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and putting her, uh, how they call those? And then they Bring electrocuted him. And they put that fucking uh, weird brain zappy thing on her. The the thing they put in in, in mental asylums. They put the little leather thing on, and then they turned on the electricity. She's not a ghost. She's real. Yeah, you she's not a ghost. She's a, she's a dead battery. You recharge her, she goes away. That was, That's what it felt like. That was like an amazing movie. Will I you just, watch it again? No. 
Not I want to watch. I want to watch the first one. <laughs> I uh, yeah, this. like I wouldn't watch it again, but I would watch the first one because I need some sort of completion in my life. I don't know if I could handle that. But... I mean, I seen worse. <laughs> I think that's my best definition of this movie. I don't know. I don't know. I think we should do a, like a bowl and put like horrible, crappy Netflix movies in this bowl and just grab one and that's the one that but we But I think the, the horror genre has like the best of the best. Yes. Today I saw a picture and it was like, please Netflix, put better horror movies on Netflix. Wait, Nick, how did we find this treasure? Oh, we went to this, I didn't even know this was a thing. You guys told me about it. It was this Netflix randomizer website where you, you select a genre you can put all of it. Yeah, you can, there's tons of genres. You select a genre and you select something. I don't remember what it was. I think you select Netflix. Like yeah. there's also like Netflix and Hulu and whatever. And you click randomize and it just gives you a movie and it's like go watch this. I yeah. like it. I we, like it. We that was a through. good experiment. That was fun. It was horrible. I'll My never God. watch that movie again. The movies that we didn't watch that didn't make it to the cut was oh, yeah. that, uh, that just these are we didn't watch these because they looked boring well the first one i kind of want to watch yeah me too dark forces that one was okay that it one looks... look uh entertaining decent. yeah the other one was what keeps you alive no, with five I stars i don't want to watch that I don't even remember the trailer we tried to watch it, it i know like, it was like is? something in the woods but nothing happened Oh, yeah, some girl was just like, where are you? I'm sorry. And this other girl was like, no, don't find me. And then the trailer just ended. And then the third one was The Lost Husband. Girl, I don't even have one, so. <laughs> you don't, you He's lost. lost. Um, and you lose a husband <laughs> every no, now that, and then. No, we, we watched the trailer. That one didn't even look like a horror movie. It looked like a Hallmark movie. Yeah, that's a Hallmark movie. And then is this also like horror? the title yeah, of a movie? Which one? Like Me? Yeah, that was one. Like Me. But it was like two hours and a half. Oh, yeah, ah, yes, like and we were like, no, we can't we're like, do we're that. We're not watching fucking Avengers Endgame. But I think... <laughs> like, but shit. But I don't know. I think that one looks like a... Um, like a... International movie. That doesn't look American. In my I opinion. I mean, if it's like a Japanese or a Chinese horror movie, it might be good. I mean, but they, they the, do know how to scare people. Yeah. It will be movies from a lot of other places like that seem way better than movie movies we have here. Oh, and then you were explaining about B movie, B movie that B the B the B, B movie is one of the best movies. Ever <laughs> That's what I used it. I was Jerry like, Jerry Seinfeld what? floating B around, movie. just being like, "Is it actually Jerry Seinfeld?" It's Jerry Seinfeld. <gasps> no voices. The B. Are you fucking serious? I don't know voices. You love voices. I love I voice care. actors. I I get sucked into voice actor hell every chance I get. Really? Every I didn't new know video that game. Was, I'm like, I know. He was him. It's Jerry Seinfeld. Wow. That's why th- his first line in the movie is, like oh, it's the deal with bees. From the C? From the bee movie. Yeah. There's no series of that. Yeah, there's only <laughs> one movie. What's wrong with you? I watched if, that movie on my senior movie year. Too, like, I'd fucking kill myself. I watched that, like, that movie at least every week once because I did why? carpool with a kid. Oh. Like, like Luna's age. Oh, like eight. no. And they have TV on the car, so we you, we just watch that movie all the time. It was oh, yeah. that or well, Mickey's house. I, I need. We? No, of course. Well, I need to. What do you need? I need to give my rating for that movie. Like I would, really? Yeah, I would say two. You give it a two. Before. You're, you're, a two. Yeah, you're but already. But I need to defend it. it. I'm oh, defend no. it. <laughs> I was like, wait, we're well, never <laughs> like, ah, There were some fine. moments in that movie. That acting alone, I was like, this scene was not that bad. Uh, yeah, you said that. A there was times. one scene. But you where, only said once. No, scene. Like he said it like a couple. Times. I said it like twice. Where I was like, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. First of all, I, I just remembered this. Uh, eighty to the ninety percent of that movie's runtime had a permanent <laughs> black vignette <laughs> around the screen. I think that whole movie. Like no, there were some shots where I looked for it and couldn't yeah, but find in the it. beginning we were like confused. We were like, "There's oh, so there's dark? no light in this movie." They're they're in a ho- they're in a hospital. They're in a home. They were in a a, pu- a, 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 a a police station. The cabin. The cabin. Where I'm like, why are the none of, why are none of the fucking lights? Up? This girl takes a bath in, in the, the dark. Room, in the dark <laughs> with like two candles on. Not I was three. like, what the. <laughs> and it's just a permanent fucking vignette over that whole movie. It was like a MySpace filter. Yeah. Oh, no. God. Oh, yes. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it was ba- no Instagram filters. No, no, were way I mean, like, it was as bad as a MySpace filter. Like, well, I mean, 2007, 2006. The, vi- the vignette filter. with yeah. all the fucking animated exactly, cartoon yes. sparkles on. The that. lighting designer was like, you know what, guys? No, I'll bet this you. will make that the didn't movie look like a lighting way designer. Better. You know, Maybe he's a millennial and he was like, let's do a throwback, guys. A throwback. To a MySpace type. You know, oh, yes, God. Like, let's just put a filter and with the lighting. <laughs> it was, it, it looks look terrible. It was so bad. I feel bad for those guys. There was one scene where. They got paid. That's the worst thing. Uh, did they? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think they got paid. You never know, Nick. It's true. It's on Netflix. They got paid my. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Fuck, <laughs> there, I'm right. just kidding. There was, there was one scene where. The human alive guy that the ghost is like yeah. manipulating. Oh, yeah, Jack is manipulating <laughs> to take like kidnap one of the main characters, and the main character is tied up to a pole, and he doesn't know what's going on. He's in a scary situation. He doesn't know where he is, and <laughs> Jack scary. walks in. Well, I'm just trying to. I don't know how to describe it, but Jack walks in, and, and it's just a human. He's not possessed, but the ghost is like making him all these promises with you can beat this guy up if you do my bidding. But at the same time, it's like, why doesn't Jack just beat that guy up? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> because he can get killed, Nick. I guess. That's obvious. Well, he, he walks in. He, you didn't get the point of the movie, Nick. Which was... He didn't understand. Um, I don't know what it was. Did I don't you get the yeah, point of the movie? I don't know what it was. <laughs> because there were some rings. There were some, like, evil ghosts. Some fucking Lord because of the Rings Because, like, she bullshit. put her hand... Into everyone's mouth. That was like <laughs> yeah, that was very... the ghost's chosen way to kill people. She had a weird fetish. It was weird. Yeah. It was gross. I prefer the Indiana Jones, just like sticking their hand in my heart. Yeah, it was kind of gross. I was like, Kalima. did you wash your hands, dude? <laughs> yeah, that would be better, not inside the mouth. But yeah, so this this one scene, the fucking human walks in and he's threatening the guy, and he's like, "Oh, you're just like a little mouse to me right now. Like I'm." I'm in charge. If I do what I want, I'll do whatever I want. (laughs) No, but it was like threatening too. So you're like, that's the only scene where everything was like a little bit intimidating. But it was like a minute long. Change. Change the setting. Like, same lines that (laughs) that dude uh, did. Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, yeah. No, no, like, (laughs) kinky music, light candle, candlelight. You're my little mouse. You're in the bath. You're my little mouse. You call it a little (laughs) mouse. It's really deserving. <laughs> it's just fucking Marvin Gaye playing that. Just bow, 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 bow. You with your tenor sax. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so I'm in the background on a table, just like. And Natalia with her. Me with my trans- transverse flute. I was going to say transcendent. Transcendent. <laughs> hey, in transcendent that, in that scene, it's transcendent. Yeah. <laughs> She's playing that fucking song from Anchorman where he's sliding around the bar. Like, I don't know how it went, but like. Yeah, it sounds really bad. But that movie had, I mean, that movie fine. definitely had some moments in there where there was some confidence on display, and you were like, "This is cool." This is I, awesome. I think, and then immediately we get cut off with some bullshit. But I mean, I, that's I, the beauty of Netflix. But I think oh, yeah. the best explanation of that movie is that if you watch it, you will know what is it about, but you don't know like you you will know what the story is about. You will, yeah, <laughs> kind of. You will follow it, but. We were like maybe you will like you will need something else, but that's the reason you need to watch number the one. first part. Yeah, yeah. Was, we were like <laughs> but three I think, quarters of the way through the but movie. But I think even if we watch part one, we will still be well. We won't know. We won't know until we watch it. So no, I keep I posted think so. for I think so. <laughs> for our review. I, think, I really not. love <laughs> bad movies, and I think it's the same thing as this one. You will be missing the main point. <laughs> What the fuck is the main point? What could it possibly be? I think it's just that the kid had like a lot of powers and yeah. Maybe What's the point person? of watching bad movies in Netflix, guys? Come on, just for fun. No way. All the, I, I do remember. What's in your life? I remember. This, there, you got there was, the point of the movie. I, I remember Come there was on, a us. very distinct feeling that I got throughout the whole movie, which I was like, this if they was... played this right, this could be a, a good constant theme from the beginning of the first movie up until the end, like the very end, even the last ending that we thought was shit. Of the second movie, and that is, what are you, a sub or a d- <laughs> <laughs> little mouse or big mouse? Little mouse or big mouse? And with what this? are you? <laughs> right, we're gonna we're gonna end the podcast on that. Vicky, say goodbye. Quick, give us a, give us a goodbye. Say goodbye. Uh, goodbye. I love you. Oh, what if I? I'm gonna sing a song. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna sing a song. I love you. <laughs> I don't know more songs.
Do you know four songs? I I mean I can sing a song if you want. You can be like I I can brush your hair every night. It's so creepy. It's so creepy. Imagination. That is your creation. Come, Come on, on Vicky, let's, let's go, go Vicky. Party. What?